Today I've taken the drum out of the brick enclosure that you um, saw before. Uh, I've opened that bung in the bottom and today I'm going to use it as a mini scrapper. Uh, this container underneath is full of water and what I'm going to do is melt down some uh, larger pieces like some manifolds and things and the molten aluminium will run into the water. What that will do is uh, turn it into little pellets and then I can basically uh, put those in crucibles as I need and it makes them easy to handle and I can you know top up uh, whatever I want in a crucible. Now before anybody goes into panic um, putting aluminium into water is quite safe because the water quenches the aluminium much like uh, putting acid into water. You don't put water into acid the same as you don't put water into aluminium but putting aluminium, molten aluminium into water is quite alright. So um, let's not get the safety sissies into overdrive on that one. I'll fire this up, get it nice and hot and we'll start melting. Here's an overview of what I've got. You can see I've got the blower there, I've got the uh, air and oil inlet pipe going into the drum and the drum is just tipped a little bit to one side so the molten aluminium easily runs out. Again we've got the oil feed up there it is just gravity, there is no nozzles, there is no pumping. I'll put the inlet into the airflow and just let that blow through and that's how it runs. The movement of the air just pushes the oil in. You can probably see there I've got the bunghole open, got a little bit of scrap in there already and there's the, uh, the water below it. That's just going to uh, run in the molten aluminium out, it will drop into the water, it will solidify and turn into little pellets and that makes it nice and easy to handle for um, you know, melting down again later. The idea of this is to reduce great big pieces that I can't fit into the crucibles into little pieces which I can melt more easily in the crucible and pour as I need. Alrighty, seems to be run along pretty well. I've got a uh, Subaru manifold here, so I'll try and place that in without knocking it all over and see how we go. As you can probably hear, if not see, we've got Molten Alley coming out the bottom.
safety tip viewers is if you're a married man don't try this at home with your wife's pots and pans that could be very dangerous to your health I suggest you get some scrap and try it with that otherwise you uh, you might be in a real bit of a jam as you can see this didn't quite go to plan I was um, making sure I kept the water topped up and putting the uh, the hose in it between takes so the water didn't boil but as you can see uh, there's probably not been a enough water there or a deep enough amount of water to cool the aluminium completely and rather than turn into pellets it's um, formed a, uh, a rather interesting bit of um, art by the look of it I'll pull that out and show you but in any case you know uh, something's been learned here and the next time I might cut down a, um, a 200 litre drum and stick the whole stand in it and uh, go from there but we'll, um, we'll empty that out and have a look at what I've got looks a bit like one of those anthill castings actually Let's see if this will come out and uh, if it does what sort of uh, modern pop art that I've got. Oh yes it comes out, oh we do have some pellets at least. I think that shows pretty clearly that uh, probably needed a, uh, a greater depth of water. The aluminium was probably going in a bit hot. It hasn't um, pelletized as I like, but geez, there's some there's some funky bits of stuff there anyway. Look at that. Geez, I might put a base on that and take it inside. I um, actually quite like that. So there you go viewers, uh, hopefully you, uh, you found that somewhat interesting and maybe even useful for your own exploits. Clearly it works, you can melt aluminium very easy in just a drum as I've shown you. Uh, it's reduced that manifold down to a workable size, I can always do this again and do it a bit better. Uh, if you did like that please uh, don't forget to click the like button, please share it around so uh, lots of other people get to see this. And um, thank you very much for watching.